Tracy Ullman is a British-American actress, comedian, singer, writer, producer and director. Her earliest mainstream appearances were on British television sketch comedy shows A Kick Up the 80s and Three of a Kind. After a brief singing career, she appeared as Candice Valentine in Girls on Top with Dawn French and Jennifer Saunders. She emigrated from the United Kingdom to the United States, where she starred in her own network television comedy series, The Tracy Ullman Show, from 1987 until 1990, which also featured the first appearances of the long-running animated media franchise The Simpsons. She later produced programs for HBO, including Tracy Takes On, for which she garnered numerous awards. Her sketch comedy series Tracy Ullman's State of the Union ran from 2000 and 8 2010 on Showtime. She has also appeared in several feature films. Ullman was the first British woman to be offered her own television sketch show in both the United Kingdom and the United States. In 2016, she returned to British television with the BBC sketch comedy show Tracy Ullman's Show, her first project for the broadcaster in over 30 years. This led to the creation of the topical comedy series Tracy Breaks the News in 2017. Ullman is currently the richest British actress and female comedian, and the third richest British comedian overall. Chapter 1 Early Life Tracy Ullman was born Trace Ullman in Slough, Buckinghamshire, the younger of two daughters, to Doreen and Anthony John Ullman. Her mother was British with Roma ancestry, and her father was a Roman Catholic Pole. Anthony Ullman was at Dunkirk during World War II serving in the Polish army. He worked as a solicitor, a furniture salesman, and a travel agent in England, he also brokered marriages and translated among the émigré Polish community. The pair recognized their younger daughter's talents early on and encouraged her to perform. In an interview with Fresh Air host, Terry Gross, Ullman revealed that when she was six, her father, who had been recovering from a heart operation, died of a heart attack in front of her. When that happens to you as a child, you can face anything. You're always waiting for the other shoe to drop. If something great happens, you're like, wow, that's great that happened, because it could have been crap. The most disappointing thing happened when you were younger you're just braver and if good things happen you're really grateful. Ullman, who had been living an upper-middle-class life, was uprooted to Hackbridge, southwest London, along with her elder sister Patty. Her mother could barely make ends meet without their father's income. Ullman credits her sense of humor to a feeling of classlessness as well as her mother's working-class roots. It comes from being classless, I think. My father was Polish and he died when I was six. And from being a little girl who went to Gymkhana and had ponies, and went to a private school, and lived in a big house we suddenly didn't have any money anymore and had to go to a state school. And my mother's family is all from South London, and we have a lot of uncles and friends over there. And when my father died they were very supportive, and they used to come down for the weekend, all these hordes of South London oiks. They used to invade our big posh bucks home and use the swimming pool, ride the ponies, and they were so funny these blokes, they really affected my sense of humor, but I think the man who really affected my sense of humor was my uncle Butch, he was called Butch Castle. He was a decorator from South London, lazy old sod. And he's got the sharpest mind I've ever known, he's so hysterically funny. And I wanted to be like him. In the aftermath of their father's death, in an effort to cheer her family up, Ullman, along with her sister, created and performed a nightly variety show on their mother's bedroom windowsill. After their mother remarried, things went from bad to worse. We weren't the Brady Bunch, let me tell you. Her family began moving around the country, with Ullman attending numerous state schools. Her flair for mimicry helped with the transitions as her new classmates didn't take to her upper crust accent. I had to talk like them to avoid being beaten up. She wrote and performed in school plays. She eventually caught the attention of a headmaster who recommended that she attend a performing arts school. She won a full scholarship to the Italia Conti Academy at the age of 12. 
At 16, she attended a dance audition under the impression that she was applying for summer season in Scarborough. The audition resulted in a contract with a German ballet company for a revival of Gigi in Berlin. Upon returning to England, she joined the second-generation dance troupe, performing in London, Blackpool, and Liverpool. She branched out into musical theatre and was cast in numerous West End musicals including Grease, Elvis the Musical, and The Rocky Horror Show. Chapter 2 – Music Career A chance encounter with the wife of the head of the punk music label Stiff Records led to Ullman getting a record contract in 1983. Label owner Dave Robinson was taken with some of the musical parodies she had been doing in her television work and signed her. Ullman recounted, One day, I was at my hairdresser, and Dave Robinson's wife Rosemary leant over and said, Do you want to make a record? I went, Yeah I want to make a record. I would have tried anything. Her 1983 debut album You Broke My Heart in 17 Places featured her first hit single Breakaway, as well as the international hit cover version of labelmate Kirsty McCall's They Don't Know, which reached number 2 in the UK, number 35 in Germany and number 8 in the United States. In less than two years, Ullman had six songs in the UK Top 100. A cover of Doris Day's Move Over Darling reached number 8 in the UK, and a cover of Madness My Girl, which she changed to My Guy, had a video that featured the British Labour Party politician Neil Kinnock, at the time the leader of the opposition. Ullman's songs were over the top evocations of 1960s and 1970s pop music with a 1980s edge, somewhere between Minnie Mouse and the Supremes as Melody Maker put it, or retro before retro was cool, as a reviewer wrote in 2002. Her career received another boost when the video for They Don't Know featured a cameo appearance from Paul McCartney, at the time Ullman was filming a minor role in McCartney's film Give My Regards to Broad Street. She released her second album You Caught Me Out in 1984. Her final hit, Sunglasses, featured comedian Adrian Edmondson in its music video. During this time she also appeared as a guest VJ on MTV in the United States. Chapter 3, Television Career Chapter 3 Section 1 early years. Ullman began her television career in 1980 playing Linda Bellingham's daughter in the British soap opera Mackenzie. I really thought I was great when I did a quite serious soap opera for the BBC. I played a nice girl from St. John's Wood. Mummy, I think I'm pregnant. I don't know who's done it. Then I would fall down a hill or something. E. Oh, no, lost another baby. It seemed all I ever did was have miscarriages, or make yogurt. She came to the attention of the BBC after appearing in Les Blair's Avant-Garde 4 in a Million, an improvised play about club acts, at London's Royal Court Theatre. She won the London Critics Circle Theatre Award as most promising new actress for her performance. In 1981, she was cast in the BBC Scotland sketch comedy programme, A Kick Up the 80s. This led to her being offered her own show. My first reaction was you must be joking, as women are treated so shoddily in comedy. Big busty barmaids and all those sort of cliches just bore me rigid. Eventually a deal was struck with the proviso being that she would get to choose the show's writers, have script approval, and choose the costumes. Three of a kind, co-starring comedians Lenny Henry and David Copperfield, debuted in 1981. This led to her winning her first BAFTA in 1984. She would soon go on to become a household name with the British media referring to her as our trace apostrophe. In 1985 she signed on to star in the ITV sitcom Girls on Top. She was cast as the promiscuous gold digger Candice Valentine. The show, co-starring comedians Dawn French, Ruby Wax, and Jennifer Saunders, who also wrote the scripts, continued after Ullman bowed out after the first series. Chapter 3 Section 2 – The Tracy Ullman Show In 1985, Ullman was persuaded by her husband to join him in Los Angeles, where he was already partially based. She set her sights on a film and stage career believing that there was little in the way of television for her. 
Her British agent put together a videotape compilation of her work and began circulating it around Hollywood. The tape landed in the hands of Craig Kellum, vice president for comedy at Universal Television. A deal was immediately struck with CBS. I love New York, a show about a slightly wacky British woman working in New York, was written by Saturday Night Live writer and Beats. Unhappy with the direction the network wanted to take the show, Ullman's agent decided to contact producer James L. Brooks. Brooks felt that a sketch show would best suit her. Why would you do something with Tracy playing a single character on TV when her talent requires variety? You can't categorize Tracy, so it's silly to come up with a show that attempted to. The Tracy Ullman show debuted on April 5, 1987, along with Married. With Children. The show was awarded 10 Primetime Emmy Awards, with Ullman winning three, one in the category of Outstanding Individual Performance in a Variety or Music Program in 1990. The show scored the Fox Network its first Emmy nomination and in its first ever Emmy win. The show concluded after a four-season run in 1990. Chapter 3 Section 3, HBO In 1991, Ullman's husband placed a successful bid on a television franchise in the south of England. The television programming lineup agreed upon included a Tracy Ullman special. Unlike the Fox show, this program would be shot entirely on location. Tracy Ullman, a class act, a send-up of the British class system, premiered on 9 January 1993 on ITV. This led to HBO in America becoming interested in having a special made for their network with the caveat that Ullman take on a more American subject. She chose New York City. Tracy Ullman takes on New York debuted on 9 October 1993. The program went on to win two Emmy Awards, a Cable Ace Award, an American Comedy Award, and a Writers Guild of America Award. The success led to the creation of the HBO sketch comedy series Tracy Takes On. In 1996. Ullman returned to HBO in 2003 with the television special Tracy Ullman in the Trailer Tales, which she also directed. She returned to HBO again in 2005 with her one woman stage show Tracy Ullman, Live and Exposed. Chapter 3, Section 4 Purple Skirt and Oxygen. In 2001, Ullman took a break from her multi-character-based work and created a fashion-based talk show for Oxygen Network, Tracy Ullman's Visible Panty Lines. The series was spun off from her e-commerce clothing store Purple Skirt. Interviewees included Ariana Huffington and Charlize Theron. The show ran for two seasons, concluding in 2002. Chapter 3 Section 5, Showtime Upon her naturalization in the United States, it was announced in April 2007 that she would be making the switch from HBO to Showtime after working 14 years with the former. Tracy Ullman's State of the Union, a new sketch comedy series, debuted on 30 March 2008. It ran for three seasons, concluding in 2010. Chapter 3 Section 6, Return to British Television after a 30-year absence, Ullman returned to the BBC with the sketch comedy programme Tracy Ullman's show in 2016. It aired in the United States on HBO. In 2017, the show earned its first Primetime Emmy Award nomination in the category of Outstanding Variety Sketch Series. In 2018, it garnered two additional Primetime Emmy Award nominations in the categories of Outstanding Variety Sketch Series and Outstanding Costumes for a Variety, Nonfiction, or Reality Programming. The show eventually led to the creation of the topical comedy program Tracy Breaks the News in 2017. Chapter 3 Section 7, Other Notable Work In 1995, she became the first modern-day cartoon voice of Little Lulu. In 1999, she had a recurring role as an unconventional psychotherapist on Ally McBeal. Her performance garnered her a Primetime Emmy Award, her seventh, and an American Comedy Award, her eleventh. In 2005, 
she co-starred with Carol Burnett in the television adaptation of Once Upon a Mattress. She played Princess Winifred, a role originally made famous by Burnett on Broadway. This time Burnett took on the role of the overbearing Queen Agravain. In March 2014, Ullman was introduced as Genevieve Shabatsky, the mother of character Robin Shabatsky in How I Met Your Mother. On 15 February 2017, it was announced that she would star in the star's BBC co-produced limited series adaptation of Howard's End playing Aunt Julie Moon. On 14 May 2019, it was announced that Ullman would be portraying Betty Friedan in the FX limited series Mrs. America. The nine-episode series premiered April 15, 2020 on Hulu to favorable reviews. Her performance garnered her an Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Limited Series or Movie Primetime Emmy nomination. Chapter 4, Film Career Along with her television work, Ullman has featured in many films throughout her career. Her first theatrical film was a small role in Paul McCartney's 1984 film Give My Regards to Broad Street. This was followed by a supporting role in the 1985 Meryl Streep drama Plenty. She made her big screen leading role debut in 1990's I Love You to Death acting alongside Kevin Kline, River Phoenix, and Joan Plowright. She subsequently appeared in lead and supporting roles in films such as Robin Hood, Men in Tights, Nancy Savoca's Household Saints, Bullets Over Broadway, Small Time Crooks and A Dirty Shame. She was nominated for a Golden Globe Award in the category of Best Actress, Motion Picture Musical or Comedy for her work in Small Time Crooks in 2001. In 2014, she played Jack's mother in the film adaptation of the Broadway musical Into the Woods. In 2020, she appeared in the musical film The Prom. Her voice work in film includes Tim Burton's Corpse Bride and the computer animated The Tale of Despero and Onward. Chapter 5 Theatre Ullman has an extensive stage career spanning back to the 1970s. In 1980, she appeared in Victoria Wood's Talent at the Everyman Theatre in Liverpool. In 1982, she played Kate Hardcastle in She Stoops to Conquer. In 1983, she took part in the workshop for Andrew Lloyd Webber's Starlight Express playing the part of Pearl as well as performed in Snoo Wilson's The Grass Widow at the Royal Court Theatre with actor Alan Rickman. In 1990, she starred opposite actor Morgan Freeman as Kate in Shakespeare in the Parks production of Taming of the Shrew set in the Wild West for Joe Papp. In 1991, performed on Broadway in J. Presson Allen's One Woman Show The Big Love, based on the book of the same name. Both Taming of the Shrew and The Big Love garnered her Theatre World Awards. In 2011, she returned to the British stage in the Stephen Polyakov drama My City. Her performance earned her an Evening Standard Theatre Awards nomination for Best Actress. In 2012, she joined the cast of Eric Idle's What About Dick? Described as a 1940s style stand up improv musical comedy radio play, taking on three roles. The show played for four nights in April in Los Angeles at the Orpheum Theatre. She had performed the piece previously in a test run for Idol back in 2007. Cast members included Idol, Eddie Izzard, Billy Connolly, Russell Brand, Tim Curry, Jane Leaves, Jim Piddock, and Sophie Winkleman. On 6 October 2014, it was formally announced that she would star in a limited engagement of the band Wagon. Chapter 6, Personal Life Ullman married producer Alan McEwen in 1983. They have two children, Mabel, born in 1986, and Johnny, born in 1991. On 24 December 2013, McEwen died at home from prostate cancer. Ullman's mother died in a fire at her flat on 23 March 2015. An inquest ruled the death to be accidental. She was 85 years old. In September 2018, Ullman revealed that her daughter was pregnant, and that she was about to become a grandmother for the first time. Ullman acquired American citizenship in December 2006. She holds dual citizenship in the United Kingdom and the United States. In 2006, she topped the list for the wealthiest British comedians 
with an estimated wealth of £75 million. In 2015, Ullman's wealth was estimated to be £77 million, making her the wealthiest British actress and female comedian. In 2017, the Sunday Times increased it to £80 million. An avid knitter, she co wrote a knitting book, Knit Two Together Patterns and Stories for Serious Knitting Fun in 2006. Chapter 7 Filmography Chapter 8 Awards and Nominations Chapter 9 Discography You Broke My Heart in 17 Places You Caught Me Out 